What if I told you that the same AI that's powering your chatbots might actually help you live to 150? Today, I'm diving into how artificial intelligence is revolutionizing human longevity and why tech bros are obsessed with not dying. Hi there, AI adopters, Camille Bank here, and I'm actually heading down to Miami for the Don't Die Summit. Yeah, that's literally what it's called. Silicon Valley's newest obsession isn't another crypto scheme, it's extending human lifespan. And unlike most corporate AI initiatives, this field is actually delivering real results. And while most companies are still figuring out how to use AI for basic automation, the longevity sector is making remarkable progress. They're not just treating diseases anymore. No, 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 that's yesterday's stuff, okay? They're targeting aging itself at the molecular level. Let me break down three fields uh, of breakthroughs that are happening in this industry right now. First, we've got the AI-powered aging clocks. What is that? That thing, basically, those things are measuring your biological age versus your chronological age. Think of it as a performance review for yourselves, but one that actually tells you something useful. The difference between the ages shows you whether you're act actually act aging faster or slower than average. And some companies are even developing organ-specific clocks to tell individual parts of your body are aging at different rates. Second, we have AI transforming uh, the drug discovery process. Companies like In Silico Medicine create their first AI designed drug to reach human trials in just 18 months, not just a decade that it usually takes. And by 2025, which is today, this year, they already have 30 drug candidates with 10 already in human trials in the same way, okay? Their AI basically identifies targets and designs molecules that human scientists wouldn't even think of. And then a third area, we're seeing uh, digital twins, okay? Those are basically virtual versions of you that can test thousands of interventions. You know, now that I'm talking about it, it actually kind of sounds like uh, Mickey 17. If you haven't seen that movie, you should check it out. Even though it's not a virtual clone, it's actually a guy that gets cloned all the time just to things tested on him interesting movie <laughs> for sure but now that i'm talking about this it just kind of thought I, I just thought about it if you saw the movie drop a comment below and let me know uh anyway those virtual versions of you they they basically are there to test uh all kinds of interventions without risking your health there's this company called human longevity that combines genome sequencing imaging and biomarker analysis to flag health issues years before symptoms actually appear this flips healthcare from uh, reactive to preventive which is catching problems before they start and i think this is great the companies in this space aren't just talking they're really building so in silico even created a humanoid robot that wears a lab coat and learns by watching scientists and the money is following let me tell you the the markets predict to hit over four billion dollars uh market size by 2030 in the longevity ai market and tech titans like bezos and altman and peter thiel are already investing and writing big checks now let's be real about the challenges though okay because not all of these things are amazing and perfect aging involves biological pathways that are more complex than we fully understand at this point ai models trained on bad data will give garbage results sounds familiar there are huge ethical questions about who gets access to these technologies and uh, what happens on to society when people routinely live past 100 by the way there's another movie analogy um at least i think it's called elysium uh elysium the, the one with matt matt uh matt Damon. they're basically they're humans and robots working their butts off on earth and there's a bunch of rich people living in a sky stage space station where they receive all kinds of longevity treatment um i think it's called elysium let me know in the comments below please but you know moving on here's basically what makes this whole thing fascinating to me while many enterprises struggle with basic ai implementation the longevity sector is using it to potentially redefine human existence the companies that anticipate these shifts aren't just being 
forward thinking. They're positioning themselves at the forefront of a multi-billion dollar market as discussed before. I strongly encourage you to check out the full newsletter of today's because I include some links and more details for the research that I found in preparation to it. And there's way more in there than I could cover right now here, including the specific companies uh, to watch and how they're applying AI in these, to me, groundbreaking ways. And if you found this valuable, let me know, uh, obviously in the comments, share it with your friends and you know the drill, right? Subscribe, like, uh, comment, all that type of jazz. I hope you have a wonderful weekend and I hope to see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.